Welcome to TransLogic, brought to you by Chevrolet. I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. Today, we're at the Las Vegas Convention Center at SEMA, the mecca for all things aftermarket. Traditionally, this convention is seen as more style than substance, but that's not going to stop us. See, we're passing up those 40-inch plasmas stuck on the side of golf carts so that we can find the real tech inside. Let's go. So we're here with David from Mission Motors, a San Francisco-based company. Tell me a little bit about what you guys do. Well, Mission Motors is a high-performance electric vehicle powertrain manufacturer. That sounds cool. It's very cool. A lot of people actually know us for this, the Mission One PLE. Okay. It's a high-performance all-electric motorcycle. And we designed it from the ground up because we realized the technology didn't exist to meet the specs of a vehicle like this. Right. On this particular bike, we have a 100 kilowatt motor controller, which in gearhead terms is about 100. 36 horsepower. We did custom batteries, custom controllers, custom motors. The great thing about our technology is that it's completely modular. The actual term for it is Mission EVT, okay. which is electric vehicle technology. So here's the interesting thing. We developed this technology for this motorcycle, right. and in doing so, we solved a lot of engineering challenges on okay. packaging and power, and we found that OEMs were very, very interested in the solutions that we created. Of we course. actually do have two OEM customers right now. Very cool. Um, are you allowed to tell me who they are? I really wish I could, but you can't. can't. Okay. No, but seriously, who are they? So here we are in front of the Local Motors booth. We've already talked about Local Motors a little bit, but the truth is these guys are fantastic in their efficiencies. In fact, their business model is an open source production model that allows a whole bunch of people to get together to take part in both building and designing the car. But I don't want to give away too much information because soon we're going to be heading out to the Arizona desert and beating the crap out of one of these. Edison, eat your heart out. <laughs> All right, so we are here with Adam Shields at Watt Shocks. Tell me about this product. How well, does this work? What we've done is we've taken uh, the idea of a normal shock from a vehicle. Let's take that up and down motion and actually create something with it that we can give back to our charging system, to our engine management system, uh, the things that really make a, a vehicle run. We have a solid piston, okay. which pushes fluid in one direction. This motor is continually turning and creating electricity. All right, so the purpose of this uh, is kind of like regenerative braking, right? It takes energy that would have been lost and, and uses it. Absolutely. Sure. If you have 20,000 trucks running around, and these shocks enable you to put 50 cents in your pocket every five miles, yeah, that's you a big start difference. doing the math, and it's really going to make sense. Yeah. So the Automotive X Prize was a $10 million design competition that was created in order to encourage designers to create vehicles that could hit the 100 MPG mark or the 100 MPGE, the electric equivalent. So today, we're checking out the cars and the winners. Basically, it's the electric version of the Monotracer, okay. which is essentially an enclosed motorcycle. So tell me some of the specs of this. How fast does this go? Zero to 60, what are we looking at? Uh, zero to 60 is five seconds or less. We're still okay. uh, developing. It's Everything's still a little bit in development, but okay. it's going to be definitely less than five seconds, maybe close to four. Range is 180 to 200 miles at highway speed. Stop speed is electronically limited to 155. And if we took off that electronic limiting? We're planning to shoot for uh, 200 miles per hour on the uh, Bonneville Salt, salt Flats, flats at yeah. some point. Yeah. All right, so tell me a little bit about the very light car. When we were going after the 100 miles per gallon, we decided to pursue it through platform efficiency. Okay. That means just creating a car that takes less energy to move, no matter what the powertrain is, no matter where the energy comes from. When we were designing it, we went with an internal combustion engine that was very small, ultra-efficient, and very light. We started with a stock Yamaha WR250 engine, okay. and from there, we added a turbocharger to it. We uh, used it's exhaust. Got turbo. It's got a turbo. It's got a That's turbo, great. yeah. Yeah, it's a bold move, choosing the ICE. Did that make it harder for you in the competition? Uh, it did. We, we saw it as more of the high road. The mile per gallon equivalency is a great way to compare electric cars to internal combustion engines, but the one thing it does give the electric cars a little bit of an advantage because it doesn't take into account the thermal conversion that happens upstream at, oh, at the power sure, plants. Sure, yeah. We wanted a car that uh, used the existing infrastructure. The tough thing is, is that we also had to meet emission requirements. Yeah, it also yeah. had to be a clean engine. We put in some milder cams to try to bring the revs down and did a lot of tuning. 
It's all electric vehicle, air conditioning, heat, everything's in it. Runs our own uh, battery management system as well as our cell configurations. Cool. And uh, top speed on it's about 90 miles an hour. All right. During X Prize, we run 135 miles, equivalent of 0.7 gallons of gasoline. And you guys make your own batteries, right? That's really unique. We have the chemists and everything to uh, actually do the anode and cathode materials in there and monitor them. Once we're happy with the prototypes and everything, then we can sell them out for manufacturing. So is this the new grocery getter? Is this, this the new is soccer it. mom's car? The wave car comes in and stops at the grocery store or anywhere you want to stop and plenty of room in the back. Speaking of plenty of room in the back, what is that? Now this is the Anisio. This is our ground up design for a supercar. This one with the bigger motor package, zero to 60 as far as 3.4 seconds. 3.4, wow. Obvious comparisons to the Tesla, another sports car that's, you know, with electric drivetrain. I don't really put it in the same class. I mean, okay. they're both electric powered and the Tesla's a great car. This is a supercar. This thing will handle and drive as close to a slot car as I can possibly get and uh, still have a good comfortable ride on the road. All right, that's it for today. Now, I gotta be honest, SEMA is one of those conventions that's usually full of companies with wacky accessories and pointless bling. And yes, that's here, but there's a whole lot more than that. We saw a bunch of really cool technology today, including this. All right, for Translogic, I'm Bradley Hasemeyer. See you next week.